Good morning. Glad you could join us. Hey, want to share something out of the book of Genesis, out of the great story, the great meta narrative of Joseph. And we find it in Genesis chapter 40, verse 23. So Joseph has been unrightly thrown in prison. He interprets some stuff. So the cupbearer is going to get out in just a couple days, and that's great. And Joseph's like, hey, remember me? And he figures he gets out in a couple days. Surely I'll be out of here in a couple days. Yet the chief cupbearer did not remember Joseph, but forgot him. So how much do you like being forgotten? I'm just going to share a couple. I can remember back when I was single, I, uh, I had this dating service. Uh, you would meet someone somewhere for lunch. I'm avoiding saying the actual, actual name of it. Didn't work out really well for me. And so we're supposed to meet for lunch at this restaurant over in Oak Brook. And I get there, <clears throat> for me, semi-miraculously, about five minutes ahead of time. How long would you wait uh, for someone you've never met before uh, for like a blind date? I, I gave them a half hour, figured the car could have broken down or whatever. Anyway, they never showed. I do not like that, I'll just be honest. I remember back when I was in college, we had a guy who headed up this... Uh, the college age ministry and he lived out in Wheaton and so I drove out there we were gonna to get together for coffee and I knocked on his door and he wasn't there he just completely forgot and it's probably more memorable than if I had gotten together he felt terrible I felt terrible too how about forgetting an anniversary I remember when my brother did the toast when I got married he said and as far as remembering your anniversary just forget it once, and then you'll never, ever forget your, your anniversary. Well, what did Joseph learn from being forgotten by the cupbearer? Well, I think the first one was to stop trusting in people. Now, I'm not saying that you don't have good relationships with people, but there's all sorts of things where it's like, you know what, big picture, people are going to let you down. At some point, they're going to let you down. It says in Isaiah chapter 2, verse 22, Stop regarding man in whose nostrils is breath, for of what account is he? We're just mortals. As long as we breathe, we're alive. As soon as we stop, we're gone. Trust. The, the second point is put your trust in God. Allow your discouragement, your disillusionment with people around you to turn you to love and faithfulness that comes from God and God alone. God does not let us down. He, uh, it says in 2 Timothy 2.13, if we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. People will forget you sometimes. I know sometimes people are like, I wonder what people are saying about me when I'm not there. Most of the time, they're not saying anything. They've just moved on to something else. But God says that he's written our names on the, in, they're in the palm of his hand. God never will forget you. And the third lesson that we can learn from this, and I want to give a shout out to James uh, Montgomery Boyce. Uh, I'm sharing some thoughts I picked up from him. The third lesson is to wait for God. It may not be easy, but boy, when you start getting the right perspective, you realize, you know what? God's going to do this in his time. And I could give you chapter and verse so many times where it's like, man, this, this isn't working out. I thought it was going to happen a lot quicker. God is not in a hurry. God doesn't have an alarm clock. He doesn't, he doesn't, I'm looking at my phone right now to tell me how many more seconds I have. God does not operate within time. So when he told the cupbearer that, um, when Joseph told the cupbearer that he'd be released from prison in three days, Joseph must have been thinking, yeah, so I'll be out of here in like four days. But that's not what it says in the story. And, you know, I expressed some different disappointments. Joseph was in prison. None of those stories was, was I in prison. This was serious stuff. But if Joseph could learn to wait on God in a prison cell, then we can learn to wait on God wherever we're at today. God bless you. Have a great day.